I was burned out. I was tired of making other people rich and, and visualizing their dreams to completion and, and not doing my own stuff. I'm Brad D. Shark Parker and I make lowbrow art. Lowbrow art happened. I was so excited because I realized I knew what that was and I could do that. Hawaii is a huge, huge market, of course. Millions of tourists come here every year. Uh, tiki is, is a pseudo niche market because it's part of the Hawaiian market, but it's also, um, there's a very hardcore crowd that collects tiki and are extremely dedicated to it. When I did these, I wanted to have like, they're ugly things, but they're lit so pretty that they're enjoyable to look at. So that's the whole idea about these things. So right now I'm still fixing the lighting. So I gotta take this spot down a little more. Right now it's a little bit too bright. There's two things we do. I mean, there's fine art and then there's the souvenir world. But what I wanna do is bring that level of fine art into the Hawaiian souvenir world. I've been visiting Hawaii for many years, but and all the souvenirs are like, there's art from the 1940s still being used on the souvenirs. I wanted to bring it all up to date. So to do that, first it starts as a piece of fine art. What I do is called lowbrow art, which means it's kind of uh, comic books and monster movies. Surrealistic pop culture It's based on the TV generation that I was in. So it's, it's very elaborate cartoons uh, related to pop culture. So I relate all of them to Hawaiian or Hawaiian culture. When I first met him, I think, back about, I think it was, what, 18 years ago? And I, I saw his work in motion pictures in Hollywood, and I knew there was something there. What I was doing is beach towels and souvenirs, and I needed talent. And when I spotted him, I'm like, you know what? That's the guy I have to go after. And 18 years later, here we are. Somebody like Brad, it's very easy for me to market because he's so talented, so it makes my job easier. I haven't had that, that massive one big show yet. But uh, I also haven't said everything I want to say as an artist. There's a lot I want to say still about Hawaii, and especially about Hawaiian mythology that no one else seems to know about. Those stories are very, very you know, sparsely known to the rest of the world. And I, I kind of want to paint about that.